Ashley Lewis, and I'm here with Timid Magazine. The moment I learned about being timid, um, I think was at a very early age, actually. I was a pretty outgoing kid, and I was always bouncing off the walls and doing crazy things, and I, I always felt really different. Um, and I actually think because of being outgoing and feeling different, it led me to be timid in certain areas because I was always afraid of how I was going to be seen or judged. So I always felt that very early on. Um, you know, even nowadays, sometimes I feel very timid and nervous um, when I really care about something or, um, you know, I get, I get timid. <laughs> um, I don't think there's a way to completely overcome timidness other than just practicing your courage bone. You know, I think stepping out of our comfort zone as much as we can over and over and over again until it starts to expand is the best way to kind of overcome timidness. But you know, I think sometimes we'll always feel timid or nervous because we're human. I think that Timid Magazine can do wonders for the community. And I think it is amazing that there's a platform for, you know, the Asian community to share their stories. There has never been something like that before for the Asian community. And I cannot wait to see the stories that it shares and, you know, the life that it brings to these stories. There's so many different stories to tell. And um, it's really exciting to see, you know, something actually supporting that and doing that. So, yeah.